Yeah, that's good, man. This thing is so freaking light. Are you kidding me? I'm picking it up with one hour. Jesus. It's even lighter than the freaking uh, little, uh, what do you call those stupid little thing? The Jetson Bolt. It's even lighter than that. Uh, I like that the seat goes back to give you a little more room between the handlebars and the seat. The handlebars lean forward. That's pretty cool. I'm trying to make you. Uh, the smallest bike form factor, but be able to ride it if you're a decent sized person. Yeah, you know? and I've seen some, some decent sized people riding this. So, sweet, good. Yeah. All right, any questions? Yeah. Get this set up for you. What kind of battery you got in it? 24 volt or 36? Uh, 36. And throttle. Yep. Okay. Okay, this needs to be charged. back next year grow, grow a little bit of height all right <laughs> right yeah so set up for you okay so this is your throttle mm -hmm. right push it and it goes handbrake to stop okay balls of your feet on the pegs not your heels okay you can't steer if your heels are on there all right thank you what, what amp hour is this uh good question oh. i don't know the amp hour. okay what, what do you want to know range 10, 10 miles 10 miles 10 miles and what's top speed 20 miles an hour 20 miles an hour very cool yep yeah. Alright, I'm gonna check it out. Thanks. Alright, people are on the little freaking rabbit. This thing is hilarious. I liken it to like the Jetson Bolt, you know? That kind of a small little bike. This thing is like really wonky because it's so it's like so nimble because it's so small. Like from front to back, that makes it so nimble, you know what I mean? It's like good lord. I'm six foot and I'm riding this thing. It's got a 350 watt motor, I believe. It's got some power, 20 miles an hour, not bad. It has no pedals though. So you're kind of screwed if the battery dies. You don't want to be left without the battery. You're screwed if that's the case, you know? It's only got one brake, rear brake, obviously mechanical. This thing's a no frills bike, people. It's got a very minimalistic display, but it's uh, only a thousand bucks, you know? Pretty cool. But the problem is that you don't have any so many pedals, so you can't really give it any aid up hills. So you're not really going up any hills on this thing. You really have to be careful where you're going. Because you're not gonna be able to, you know, go up any kind of hills. You're not gonna be able to um, give it any extra boost. You're relying completely on the motor, which is pretty powerful, but you're not going up hills if you can't pedal. So this is really like a Sunday cruiser. This is really like a park cruiser. This is really like something right around the neighborhood, right to go get some, uh, you know, go to the gym maybe with your bag on the back. You're probably not doing um, commuting on this thing. It's only got 10 miles range. But, um, you know, I'm six foot and this thing, there's enough room. Like, my knees are not on top of me. You know what I mean? Like, I've got six, five inches between me and the handlebars. So, like, they, they really optimize this thing. And it's 24 freaking pounds. This thing is so freaking light. It's unbelievable. It literally is almost unbelievable. You know? Like, really? Like, I don't know if you can see this, people, but I'm freaking picking this thing up with one hand, one arm. Are you guys seeing this? One arm. Like, unbelievable. This thing is crazy. Just a fun little bike. You know? Just me and the jackrabbit people. This is the coolest little bike, people. I tell you what, it's just really cool. It's small. It's it's durable. Surprisingly, it's got um, one brake. Looks like 180 millimeter. Could be 160. It's got a little 300 watt motor. 360 watt motor, BBD, or 300 watt motor, 300 watt motor, and uh, it's got cool like little BMX tires. Definitely do a little trail on this if you had to. And I just like the accoutrements with the, you know, the quick release lock so you can raise and lower the hit, the handlebars. That's pretty cool. Quick release seat. They pay some attention to detailing with the internal cabling, you know. 
It's just a nice looking bike. I like it. I'm actually surprised how much I like this little thing. So freaking light, people. Jesus. Like, unbelievably light. Like, wow. This thing is nuts. Wow. But yeah, wonky in terms of, you know, you got to be real careful when you turn, you know. It's just such a small form factor that you like, you don't have like a lot of stability when you turn. You got to be really careful. You got to do like gradual turns, you know. You feel durable, man. I tell you what, I saw some really tall people riding this, some heavy people riding this. Like, this thing's cruising. I mean, I'm like hauling ass right now. This thing, it's, the cool thing is it's so small and it's low to the ground that you feel like you're hauling ass. So it's like deceiving. Even though I'm only going probably 18, it feels like I'm going 25, you know? But yeah, like let's try it from a dead stop and see what kind of power we get. So the brake's pretty decent. Especially since the bike is so light, it doesn't take much. But like I'm taking off pretty good, yeah. This is a fun little bike. Fun little bike. 10 miles, probably if you're a normal person, I'm like 220, 210. So this thing's probably not gonna get 10 miles is probably gonna get like eight. But I mean, it's like you're not taking it far, you know? It's just gonna be like a little fun bike. But it's like, man, you're gonna turn some freaking heads on this thing. No question about that. Like, Jesus. It's so much fun though, like, wow. I mean, you just put a smile on your face. Like, you're gonna be smiling when you ride this damn thing. You know what I mean? You really are. Where's the jackrabbit? Oh, there it is. 